Hello, I'm Eric Petaplace and I'm the systems librarian at CCA and I'm going to show you what I think is a pretty simple but very useful feature that the portal has, which is section pages where you can describe the resources associated with your class and give your students one central place to access various things. So I'm signed in uh, imitating a faculty member in the portal right now. If you're not signed in yet though and you want to use your section pages, the first thing you should do is click the login button that'll be in this main menu up here. And then you should see an icon of your face appear in the upper right, and then you'll be signed in and have access to your courses. And what's handy about that is there's a list of my classes right on the portal homepage. So I'm just at the, the normal homepage. It's the first thing you'll see after you sign in. And it has a list of my classes. So I'm gonna go take a look at one. And up top, there's some general descriptive information that's pulled from Workday. But then down below, there is the section page, which is information that I can enter and edit to customize my site. And students, only enrolled students, will be able to see this. So what I do first is I go ahead and click Edit. And then you see all the different things that you can add. I won't go into any of these in great detail, but there's a really useful Need Help link, which we can take a look at in a minute, uh, that will talk about them. But I'll give you a quick overview of what each one does. Um, you can create a Google Classroom, and that will populate the classroom with all the students in your section, so that can be pretty handy. You can add a link to your Moodle course site, so if you're using Moodle, you just click that and it automatically links up to the Moodle URL for your course. You can add another course site URL, so if you're using some other sort of system, whether it's a blog or any kind of like learning management main classroom site, you could add that there. Uh, you can upload your syllabus in Moodle. So this is simply click on Upload Syllabus, click Choose File, select uh, a document to upload. So I'll just do that. And you can upload that. Um, you can add links too while I'm waiting for that to complete. So you can see that it uploaded and it shows that I've done that. Um, you can add links. Um, so any kind of video, textbook, various associated things you might have, those can all be added here and you can add several of them. So you could add a number of those. If you have a document that isn't on the internet that you wanna add, you can add that as well, add document and you can give it a title and it kind of works similar to uploading the syllabus. So that could be useful if you have like an open access textbook that you're, they're using. And then you can add a Google Calendar as well it's a little bit tricky to find the calendar ID, but you can go in and do that as the instructions show and go ahead and upload that. And then that will display right on the section page and upcoming events will be visible. Now you don't need to add a Google Calendar if you created your Google Classroom because by automatically the Classroom's calendar will be added to the section. So you can add several things, and then this is essentially what it will look like for your signed in students. They'll have access to all these things. So it's not like a learning management system where you can do grading and things, but it's a really good place, central place to provide resources to your students and give them the various places that they're going to be doing their learning online in a class. Um, and then this need help I promised we would look at, this is all the documentation for this. And it's really great and comprehensive and goes into each individual piece that I just talked about in a few seconds. It goes into detail and there are screenshots and it describes how to use it. So that's very useful. It's this course section pages in the portal for faculty page. And you can also just find this page by searching, for instance. So if I do course section page faculty, something like that, um, it'll be the first result as well. And that's uh, course section pages in the portal.